you're watching an extended edition of CNN News Central live from Hong Kong. Hello, everyone. I'm Monita Rajpal. Let's recap our top story for you. Pro-Russian activists say they've seized the police department in a town in eastern Ukraine. The self-declared chairman of the Donetsk People's Republic told CNN it happened in Horlivka. There have been similar moves in cities across the region. People in Iraq are heading to the polls today amid tight security after the worst spate of violence in more than five years. Dozens of people were killed by suicide attacks at polling stations in Baghdad and northern Iraq on Monday and Tuesday. This is Iraq's first nationwide election since U.S. troops withdrew in 2011. CNN senior international correspondent Ara Damon has more. This is the city that U.S. forces wrested from al-Qaeda 10 years ago, Fallujah. Threatening powerful storms and 37 million people in their path. Heavy rains, damaging winds, hail and flash flooding could strike parts of the southeastern U.S. again today. Officials are urging drivers to stay off the roads in some areas for their own safety as searches continue for stranded and missing motorists. Storms and tornadoes have killed 36 people since Sunday. Well, a tornado tore through the Alabama town of Kimberly, destroying its fire department and damaging a church and a school. CNN's Martin Savage joins us now from Kimberly with more on that. Martin. Hey, good morning, Monita. Yeah, the weather overnight was really delivering a one-two punch to the yeah, south. We had a return. It's incredible. Marty, thank you very much for that. Martin Savage is live for us from Kimberly in Alabama. So have we seen the tail end of these storms? Mari Ramos joins us now from the World Weather Center with that. Mari? Really amazing. You know what? There's still a mm. flood warning, uh, Monita, across uh, a flash flood warning across parts of uh, the Florida Panhandle. This is that area that he was mentioning. There's also a tornado. Mari, thank you. Sure. You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. An Australian company thinks the huge international search for Flight 370 could have been focusing on the wrong part of the ocean. We'll bring you to Welcome back. The underwater search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 has been put on hold today. Officials say the unmanned bluefin drone was uh, making its 17th dive, but it was called off because of bad weather. CNN's search Anna Corrin, she's in Adelaide in Australia. She joins us now on the phone. And, and Anna, you've spoken to uh, company representatives, uh, this Geo Resonance company. What are they saying that they, uh, what do they have that the other team of experts that have been searching for this plane for the past 50 50 days don't have. Well, Manita, we spent several hours with uh, two of the managers of GR Resonance. Uh, the, un and the interesting thing is that coalition of countries that have come together to help search uh, for this plane have been focusing on the southern corridor. This plane, uh, this, this image of a plane that uh, GR Resonance says they have uh, found is in the northern corridor. What made them look there? Well, they said they started looking in the northern corridor some four days after the plane disappeared. It's fascinating. It's very interesting indeed. All right. Anna, thank you very much. Anna Corrin there on the phone for us from Adelaide. Uh, let's bring you up to date on some of the other stories that we are following here on the show. The vice president of the International Olympic Committee is saying Rio is in critical condition as it prepares for the 2016 Games. John Coates says the committee has been forced to take unprecedented measures to help tackle infrastructure and construction problems. An Italian appeals court is explaining why it reinstated the murder conviction of American Amanda Knox back in January. The court says it reinstated the guilty verdicts against Knox and her former boyfriend because the evidence indicated more than one person killed British student Meredith Kircher. The ruling judge A dead whale is worrying people living on the coast of Newfoundland in Canada. The blue whale washed ashore and is now swollen with methane gas, raising fear the enormous creature may be about to explode. As we told you earlier, the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers has been banned from the NBA and fined two and a half million dollars over racist remarks made public on the internet thanks to a taped conversation with his, with his girlfriend. So who is this girlfriend? Her name is V. Stiviano. Deb Farrick has more on that. As she left her Los Angeles home Tuesday, V. Stiviano's intuition proved correct. The 31-year-old woman posting online, quote, one day I will look back at Instagram and say, I've been there and I've done that. CNN, it was her Instagram. 
You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. An amazing night for Real Madrid in the Champions League. And soon their local rivals get a chance to join. It was a sensational night in European football on Tuesday. Real Madrid became the first team to qualify for the Champions League final. They thrashed the defending champs, Bayern Munich, 4-0 uh, uh, in Munich. And that gave Real a 5-0 win on aggregate. CNN's Al Goodman is in Madrid for us. He's outside Real Stadium, where I assume the energy is electric. Hi, Monita. Nothing like a big victory by Real Madrid. To it make certainly is. Imagine a derby there in, Man uh, in Madrid. That would be interesting. Uh, Al, thank you very much for that. Al Goodman there live for us from Madrid. And before we go, the buzz is uh, spreading like wildfire. Britain's Prince Harry, ladies, he's single again, apparently. People magazine and The Telegraph, among others, are reporting that Prince Harry and girlfriend Christina Bonas have ended their two-year relationship. In recent months, there You're was... watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining me. We'll uh, go to our colleagues at CNN USA after this short break.